Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a geo coaster with marble effect. Today we are going to use uh, it's a simple two colors. One is white, the other one is a black. So white, I'm going to use the uh, um, the pigment, the uh, resin pigment white, and the alcohol ink white. Same is the black one. So let's start it. I have a pre-made um, 200 millimeter resin. First of all, I'm going to um, putting the white color in this a uh, little bit more than 100 millimeter uh, in the cup. Uh, you can tell there's a lot of bubble there, but uh, it's okay. Um, well, we can pop the bubble later. Okay, as you can see, I made this color sort of opaque. It's kind of a half transparent. So let me make it as um, it's the base of the coaster. Okay, I think I need to make a little bit more white because it's not, I still have like one third not fitting in the, um, in the coaster. Okay, I just made a little bit more Okay, you can see the additional uh, resin I'm putting there is more um, opaque, uh, not as transparent as the first batch, which is okay to me. Actually, I feel it's better, so it makes the white base more natural when I mix them. Let me pop the bubble first. Okay, now uh, I think I left some clear resin outside. I want to achieve this type of uh, effect. Uh, I want to put um, a little bit clear, but uh, I think this is uh, should be enough. But you know, you know what? Just putting a little more, so this way it looks more natural. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to pour in the same cup um, a little bit resin to make a dark gray color for the accent of this marble effect. Just a tiny bit should be enough. Just one drop of black color, 
pigment and then one drop of alcohol ink black color also uh, I think the the proportion for uh, for the pigment is you need to keep uh, the total pigment um, under 10% of the total resin so that's basically um, uh, the rule for how much you can put in for the color okay so let's just uh, give a little bit let me just uh, just run them me there I think that's all I want to have in here. The reason is um, this black color, I mean dark gray color, will uh, spread after it's cured. So I don't want to have too much dark color in there. I want this coaster is majority white. The dark color just accent to this uh, marble effect. So let me pop some bubble. So normally people use torch to pop the bubble. Uh, I use heat gun for this one. Uh, it's because I don't mind. Um, because when you use heat gun, the heat gun has lots of power. They will push the color, you know. So for some design it's not suggested. But for this one, I'm okay with it because I want this uh, dark gray to spread a little bit. So I'm okay with the heat gun to pop bubble on this design. I think I'm going to just add a little bit more here. Because this is a little bit light. Hopefully, uh, that gives more effect. Okay, I think I'm happy with this. Uh, we'll see after a couple hours they might um, cure a little bit and I will, I'll go to check what this is going to uh, look like. Okay, see ya. Good morning, high piece Sunday. Uh, I'm excited to see my piece. Instead checking last night, I just leave it overnight. So uh, I forgot to mention you need to cover your piece to protect your piece getting uh, dust on there. So let's check it out. Oh, they look nice. You can see one piece that has a more darker color than the other one. Um, I like this one better than this one but this one looks good too and um, let's take it out okay this is the back I mean I don't care much about the back because this is the front and check this one when you take it out from your mode uh, just be gentle because you don't want to break the mold. Okay, that's the back and that's the front. Okay, they're pretty. I like it. Um, so the next step, if you wanted to, you can just leave the way it is. Uh, what I did from uh, the piece I did before is I uh, used this gold pen, painter's pen. And I draw a couple um, gold line and then also on the edge to make it more fancier look and this is a, like simple look it is a fancier look really depends on uh, how do you feel what type of uh, look you want to you want this to be so it's your choice you can do the line and without the line 
So、uh, if you choose to do the line, my personal choice is I don't want this too thick, so I just draw a thin line. Just draw whatever you want this to be, and also I、uh, paint the edge to match the, this gold. They look to me they look look a little bit more、uh, fancier. Okay, I think that's all about this piece. I hope you like this、um, project. I hope you like my video. So, if you do like my video, I want to watch more. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. See you next time.